Okay, I will be going over various scanning functions for your Sharp copier. First, on your home screen, touch Scan or Address Book to open your address book. And then select where you would like the scan to go. I'll choose this shared folder here. The next step is to hit OK. This will bring you to the condition settings for your scan. Now, if you need to change the exposure, touch the Exposure button. Change it from Automatic to whatever you're copying text printed photo for instance, darken to the right, lighten to the left. Touching OK brings you back out to the menu to make further selections. To change the resolution, touch resolution. Make sure that the type of, of uh, address is selected here. If you're scanning to a network folder you need to make sure you change that to network folder before you change your resolution. 200 is the default um, that's fine for most text documents, but you can increase it here as you wish. Touch OK to get you back out here. File format. You can touch this to change the file format from PDF to TIFF, JPEG, encrypted PDF. Uh, we want to make sure, obviously, that we select the network folder if that's where we're scanning. Check this if you'd like it to be encrypted. You can raise the compression here to make your file a bit smaller. Uh, and then if you check this specified pages per file, you can load up 20 pages in the feeder, for instance, and it will create one page per file. So you'll get 20 different files. If you don't check that, it will create a PDF for as many pages as you scan in. Touch OK. Color mode here. That's if we wanted to change it, it's on automatic. We can change that to black and white by going to mono 2. Again, need to be sure which, which type we're scanning to here. Original, if you want to scan something two-sided, that's under original because my original is two-sided. So we want to choose the two-sided booklet. This tablet would be top to bottom, not right to left, as booklet would be. Uh, you can also force it to scan in whichever size you choose or it will automatically go by what's sitting in the document feeder. Under others we have a bunch of different things. Job build, this will allow us to scan more documents than the feeder will hold. Uh, erase, that's if we wanted to erase the outer frame or uh, certain edges of our scan. Book divide, card shot, dual page scan, blank page skip. These are all options in here if you wanted to have it. Uh, if you scanned 10 pages that some of which were two-sided and the others weren't, you can have it delete the blank pages from your file. Uh, sharpness, contrast, all of that is information that you can find in under others. Click OK and then you can click start here to send your file.